Well, this is, uh, to my knowledge, the worst medical man-made disaster in human history. Uh, I cannot recall any other situation where a state and a state army has been doing so systematically attacks on the healthcare system and on the healthcare providers. Uh, the recent UN report that came uh, last Friday is summing up that the Israeli occupation forces have perpetrated more than 1,000 attacks on healthcare in Gaza and the West Bank during the last year alone and killed uh, more than 800 healthcare workers. So this is a systematic uh, modus of operation and the report also states that they quote, they have plans and procedures to attack healthcare, unquote. So that alone is a, a disgrace for the US and Israel, of course, because all of these institutions and personnel are protected by international law. Well, so that's beyond any doubt the worst attack ever on healthcare and healthcare personnel. But I think the most devastating and inhuman part of Israeli politics is the systematic starvation and thirsting of 2.2 million people of whom half are children. This is beyond doubt a systematic genocide. And I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of listening to the US trying to put some makeup on their brutal policies of supporting Israel with endless amounts of arms and bombs. This is an obscene masquerade, and I think it is an insult to any intelligent person on earth what they are now claiming in the UN Security Council, that they are uh, protesting against Israel's lack of supply of, of humanitarian resources. It's right that it's only 50 trucks entering Gaza per day now. The normal amount before this attack started in November last year was 500 trucks, so it's one-tenth. This is, by all means, a systematic and brutal and also very sadistic way of eliminating the Palestinian people and to fulfill their colonial ambitions of taking over Gaza. They use the medical system as a way to strangulate the people of Gaza, and the scenes have been horrible for a year, and I cannot understand why the European states are not standing up and demanding from the United States to stop the uh, weapons supply to Israel. It's good news that Ireland and, and Spain now will demand that EU is canceling the trade agreements with Israel. The only language Israel is understanding, it is sanctions and it is economical crisis and it is stop in weapons supplies.